It's the only river that goes right through a major mountain range here in the Pacific Northwest. Why is that? The answer is the Columbia River is older than the Cascade Range. The Columbia River we know today is just the most recent version of a river that has much more history than anything else. This is a place called uh, Snipes Mountain. We're south of a little town of Granger. If we go straight east, the Columbia River is, as the crow flies, 15 miles away. All right, my, not much of a shoulder here. You guys, you guys are city slickers. You know how to handle this. I tell stories for a living, basically, and they're geology stories. I love the stories that these rocks tell. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I've been up here a few times, but not with this light. Holy cow. Yeah, this is a top 10 spot, I think, in Washington for geology. Everybody perfectly polished. Everybody perfectly tumbled. If you see these in a place that doesn't have a river, you know that a river used to be there. The stunning thing to me is how many of these things are quartzite. Quartzite is a really dense metamorphic rock where a bunch of beautiful grains of sand, quartz grains of sand, were just crushed. This is a rare rock for Washington, and there's, what, 500 vertical feet of thousands and thousands of these beautiful blonde quartzites that are snow white on the inside. They shouldn't be here. The Columbia River brought these things here 10 million years ago. One billion with a B, one billion years ago. There was a beach, a coastline at Spokane, Washington and up through northeastern Washington. It was a beach just like we know today. It's a bunch of sand, quartz sand. And there was deep, deep ocean where we now have most of the state of Washington. That sand eventually got buried compressed into quartzite and then lifted back up to the surface so that the mountains of northeastern Washington, many of the mountains are literally nothing but blonde quartzite. That's home for these quartzite cobbles. And it was the Columbia and the Columbia only that was picking up quartzite from northeastern Washington, moving it across the state of Washington and dropping it here. You need a fast-moving, powerful river to move stones like this halfway, halfway across the state. And the Columbia River was a very powerful, energetic river for most of its history until recently. And it was just a small window of time that the Columbia was flowing here at Granger, Washington. And these rocks prove that. The geologist says, Everything's in motion. The continent's in motion, literally. The ridges are rising. The valleys are deepening. The rivers are shifting. Nothing's permanent, including us. <laughs>